Gino Palazzolo for 90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 Days wants a prenup because he's worried about how Jasmine Pineda handles money, but his recent behavior hints that maybe he's the one who's foolish with finances. Gino and Jasmine have been dating for about 10 months, and their time together has been a whirlwind of volatile behavior. Jasmine has jealousy issues and lacks confidence. She demands to know where Gino is at all times and goes through his phone regularly to check if he's being a good boy. Dot Although Gino appears to be much calmer, there have been a few instances where he loses his cool. Occasionally, he also appears to rile Jasmine up intentionally. Despite their countless blow-ups, the two are engaged. The way 90DS Jasmine spends and demands money on their trip has Gino worried about his 650k in savings. He's decided to ask for a prenup to ensure his savings remain untouched. However, his behavior concerning his finances has viewers second-guessing if Jasmine's the primary concern. Throughout the season, Gino has shared his concern about his finances. He currently isn't working, which has created a lot of stress in his relationship, especially since Jasmine enjoys spending money. In the most recent episode, Jasmine revealed some concerns about her roommate and has decided to move. Now, she has a new apartment until they sort their K-1 visa out, which can take years. Gino doesn't have a job and has been living off savings, but he's still paying for everything. Jasmine's rent is $700 a month, not including utilities or other amenities, and the rent money is coming from Gino's pocket, much like the rest of the trip's expenses. Dot despite not having a current income, he's continued to spend money throughout their trip. Aside from a $400 engagement ring, Gino spent thousands of dollars in a weekend getaway at Jasmine's request. While he cuts corners with his clothing and other necessities, he's quick to throw money at Jasmine, especially if that means it will ensure some peace between the two. Gino attempted to convince her to get a roommate to lessen the financial blow, but she was uninterested. In fact, Jasmine reminded him how important it was for him to find work as soon as he returned to the US to accommodate her needs. While it's clear that 90DF's Jasmine isn't the most financially responsible, it seems Gino isn't so accountable either. Understandably, he would want to make the woman of his dreams happy, satisfied, and comfortable, but that doesn't mean Gino should add more financial risk to his situation. Regardless, the two have seemed to patch things up and are moving forward in their relationship. With a few episodes left in the season, viewers are impatient to see if the smooth sailing between them will last for this wild couple for 90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 days.